Season two is is everything you loved about season one, only it's much bigger. It's, it's much more exciting. There's much more at stake. And you really get to enjoy it because you know the world now. You're familiar with it. So we're gonna, we have a lot of fun with the familiar stuff we already have in the show. And as I said, everything just comes to this high stakes, really intense, climactic ending. So I'm gonna warn you, if you start this, again, episode one, you're not going to stop. I think it takes it up a notch in every, in every regard. And, um, you know, the acting is better, the action is better. We have so many more cast members that are just, I mean, I mean having Glenn Close on board and, you know, she's so, she's so, you know, so, she's just so cool and down to earth. For me, this season is the season of women. It's the stars, uh, the head of the Mossad is a woman. Uh, of course, Nif Sultan and Glenn Close for sure. I think what is special about it is that, especially our director, what he managed to do is to show many, many facets of every human being. There's not a black and white painting of the bad guys, you know, the good Mossad and all the primitive other ones. It's not at all like this. You, can, you, you, you feel the people, you feel what they do, and I think that makes the difference. It's not, it's, it's not a one-dimensional character anywhere. The second season started off uh, two months after the first season. Tamar and Milad are hiding in Tehran and are preparing to escape. But then Tamar has to do one last mission for the Mossad. I think it's faster, I think it's bigger, I think it's even more tense than the first season. And I think that it keeps the kind of layered quality we had in the first season and the psychological aspect of the characters. And um, yes, I think it's going to be a thrill. Season two, oh my God, put your seatbelt on. That's how I describe it. it. It was such an incredible pleasure and honor and uh, nerve wracking to, uh, to work with the incredible icon, Glenn Close. It was amazing. She just took us all to another level. It's, it's amazing, it's crazy. I can't believe it that I were in New York City in the second season with Glenn Close, with the Emmy. I'm so excited and it's like, a, you know, it started off like an Israeli, little Israeli show and now it became a worldwide show, international show with Apple who are just, you know, just brought us to the next level and I, I feel so proud. I appear in the second uh, season of Tehran and then you have to watch to find out what I do and what I am. Fasten your seatbelts. Fasten your seatbelts. <laughs> we pick her up two months later. She is hiding in Tehran with Milad and she's about to go to her, she thinks it's about to, her last mission, very dangerous and almost impossible mission. Well, we're dealing a bit with the pilot and of course Niv, Tamar, we're going still with her adventure in uh, Tehran. Uh, and of course we have Milad, you know, Shervin, great actor and uh, you know, Faraz is staying with us and of course you know the blank clause. what can you say more? Season 2 picks up from around two months after season one, uh, where Tamar and Milad, uh, they're basically on the run. They're figuring out a way to exit Iran, and as always, things don't quite go to plan. <laughs> if anything else, I hope he sparks like a conversation, you know, between people. Uh, one of the first reasons I, you know, I joined this program was that it is nothing like this has been done before. The beautiful gift about it is just to be with all these Farsi-speaking, uh, you know, Iranians, but having a second nationality like I do, I'm German and Iranian, 
shooting with an Israeli uh, company in Greece. Um, that I mean, that's such a multinational cluster, uh, and so many input, and so much, so much. You know, uh, it shows the world is just one. You know. First of all, it was a good, great story, and um, I had never played a, a character that comes close to Majan Montazami, and I was very um, challenged by learning Farsi and being able to speak it. You know, so that. People who speak Farsi hopefully will say that's okay. Um, so there are many, many challenges, and um, I absolutely loved it. And I love the fact that Apple is giving it a global platform, taking the show that originated in Israel and has such an incredible, gifted team of, of producers and writers and actors. So. The team was really amazing. It's a great experience. I mean, it's a level on, of its own, this production and especially the second season. It started as a small Israeli show and the collaboration with Apple TV made us a global hit. And we can't imagine, you know, I was walking on the 7th Avenue yesterday and I watched this huge billboard of Tehran and I just couldn't imagine. It, like two years ago, it was like science fiction for me. And um, the collaboration with Apple uh, really pushed us to be excellent. Getting this amazing platform, amazing opportunity to tell our story to so many audiences all over, uh, that's truly a gift. We had like an amazing, amazing crew from all over, Israelis, Greek, uh, Glenn Close. We had so many multiple languages on set and um, we got to know so many people and so many talents from all over. It's amazing. Some of the episodes when I'd get to the end of it, reading it, I had to close my mouth. I couldn't believe what was happening. So I can't wait. He's a, a, a wonderful uh, character because he also uh, loves his wife, you know, so people, you know, have seen that as well. And, but he loves, he loves his work as well. And he wants to make sure that, that uh, he's an intelligent officer. So he's all about work and it's about Iran and he wants to make sure but and I can't tell too much because there's so much going on with this guy I hope that the audience will love it enjoyed Athens I gotta tell you and I went to 14 different islands and uh, and I love I love Greece and it, it, it's been amazing and the, the journey has been has been really incredible had a lot of help, there was great, uh, you know, real collaboration on set. I had two people listening to my Farsi whenever I had to speak Farsi. Glenn Close is a living legend, but also an absolutely amazing, lovely woman. And you know, when, when we realized that we could have Glenn, I had to pinch myself, and until I really saw her in Athens, on my set, I could believe that it's true, and you know, she just makes you be better. You know, is, this is it, this is the reaction, this is it. I'm, I'm like, what, what the hell is happening? Gotta go to work, Glenn's here, amazing, what's going on? And then, yeah, crazy. <laughs>